Hello everyone and welcome to another deck guide. As promised, this time it is Spell a Teal. Now I know it didn't get the hugest amount of buffs in the patch and people have been complaining about just how terrible Scoia'tael is. And I'm here to tell you they're wrong and that's ridiculous. Because I've been playing this list and we had an absolute blast with it. We climbed from rank 2 to rank 1 flawlessly. Back to back wins, really really simple. And it's a precision strike list that will look very familiar but the two big changes the Francesca, this is significant. Francesca never stuck before. It was really, really difficult to get her to stay on the board. We all knew this, we all had this problem, but counter two is huge. As Jean said in the reveal video uh, with the devs, the 10.2 patch. Now, if Francesca is on the board, you can literally a Neuromancy into the card of your choosing and get a copy of that card. Sometimes she acts as a backup Elven Seer, which isn't amazing, but it's an Elven Seer that's very difficult to remove could be worse. She is hilarious when you pair her and use Vigo's muzzle to get a second one. In fact, you can get a second heat wave in this list or a sec another Alza's Thunder. Isn't amazing, but it's really not terrible. But the main target is the carryover option of Salve. This also got the same treatment. It is now only counter two for it to jump out. You will see how many times over the course of my climb this card comes out. Not once, not twice, but three times in the game. Sometimes even more, because a lot of the time it's the only target they can go for. It is a really, really enjoyable experience. And these two changes are so good for this list. As always with the Precision Strike list, you do run the risk of building an entire house with the number of potential round one awkward hands. The Broccolon Sentinels, of course, in hand, not ideal. Orbs of Insight, not ideal. And realistically, more often than not, especially on blue coin, Alza or Gord, not ideal in your hand either. So that can be something you have to navigate and mulliganing and when to mulligan and when not to mulligan, more importantly, is a big part of learning to play this deck. One of the reasons that Maxi Van Decker exists in this list, to give you that little bit of information. Don't be scared to use Precision Strike Leader in round one. For the tempo and for the thinning, round control is kind of important with this list. While you can resist a bleed if you've got the owls are well set up, it can also be really awkward to do so because the opponent has so much knowledge about when you can play your cards based on where the orbs are in your graveyard. So always bear that in mind, but you're about to see some gameplay. I had a blast with this list. I'm going to be playing a lot more of it. I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't already, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. That way, the more videos that come out, you'll be notified. I'm thinking the next one is going to be some self-wound, because oh my, those were some spicy changes. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. So, after this game, we switch to Spell ST now. I, I wholeheartedly recommend NR Siege. I think it's really good. But you can see how important it is to win round one. If I give up round one in any of the matches we played, I'm probably getting bled. I'm probably losing Siege and my power in a short round. While it's not awful because of things like Amphibious Assault and the Jewels, it's not great. Also, I have a brick, a brick, and a brick. Fantastic. Oh, good jackpot! Now we have the luck of Odrin on our side. Do we? Do we? Well, where is he and where is my luck? That hand is absolutely awful. This hand is absolutely terrible. This is one of the problems this list has, right? Consistency. We thin really well, but the problem is your starting hand can be really bad. The aim the ale seems really good. Six for 12. Yes. So I kill that. Cool down, so, but yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's an old style card. It's not been good in a while, and I don't think it's supposed to be. Which I know sounds like a weird thing to say. Yeah, Odrin, how long have you been named Odrin? Okay, so I can Anero out a Mushy Truffle here. Where was that deck list for NR? Exclamation mark deck, as they all are. Or exclamation mark NR, as Punkoshima has just put. If you go onto the YouTube video, it's in the description. Which is very helpful for you to go and check. Upvote it on PlagueWent.com, would you? Oh, 
Started using it in RuneScape. Nice. Can you name another stuff fair? Mm -hmm. That's what I like to see. We all. <laughs> I have been sticking with basically the same username for a very long time as this. I'm sure most of us have. Chow. Okay. This this could be quite fun. Tell us the origin of your username. How long have you been using it, and why? If you had like. Like, what made you pick it? Is it like, is it a blend of your real name? Is it a character that you... Is it just literally you picked it out of the air? What is it? Ansace Lover has been using his for two years because he thinks Ansace is cute. I mean, you do you. Um, Westphalian is from Westphalia. That makes sense. Was part of your login at uni? The best part of 20... No way! That's kind of cool. Uh, Saffron is because you like flowers. A Goldenberg 23. Is that is that because your like your surname is Goldenberg or something? Uh, hey, Wildman, good to see you. Okay, so I'm losing this round, right? They lead it. Am I? So they've got a four point to turn engine here if I choose to pass. And the heat wave is only going to give me basically the... No imagination at all. I found that out yesterday, Carlevon. Oh, it's Salamander. You must banish. I see no other parts. So they take the pass, which is interesting. So I've got two cards to get out. Right? So Pact plays for 12. Heatwave plays for 10. And I use two leader pings and I'm fine, right? I need to bleed. Yeah, but how do I bleed? So let's say a heat wave for 10, they go down to 20. Okay, so it's heat wave. So. Okay. So we win the round, it's Salamander, of course. Yeah. The leader is sus. You've been bastard for 17 years, came from a racing game, and you want your car come to be, to be called Basic Idea, but the. Really? That's really cool. Okay. You, you learn something new every day. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, can I take a mulligan here? I need to be able to take a mulligan here. But I can't really... I think I have to take a mulligan, right? Because I can't play this. Alright, that's not too bad. Um, that's really cool. The more you know... The more you know, ladies and gentlemen. There is no place more beautiful. You learn something new every day. Now, they could kill this with a junior. Um, I'm curious to see what they've got removal-wise. Like, a professor kills it, but they don't want to do that, right? And they might just ignore me altogether. I mean, mine's pretty basic. Mine is literally just that I uh, love Final Fantasy VIII. I shared the same birthday with uh, the main character, Squall. So it literally came from that, as ridiculous as it is. Uh, Pandemus is Polish for Panda Bear. I love it. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, a golden berg, and then ask what a berg is. Nice. Uh, your dad made an email address for you and your sister way back, and that was still special. Oh, Sunray, that's really cool. Nice, that's really sweet. That's what you like to hear. It's, it's nice because it's unique enough to never be taken. That's true. But also easy to read, pronounce, abbreviate. Yeah, for a while I genuinely thought I'd been calling you Bassicide, and it was supposed to be something like uh, basic hide or something. Basicide. But I'm glad I'm getting it right. If I'm not, well, it's too late now. <laughs> Uh, the nickname's uh, since primary school. Cool. 
Yeah, so we know we know this definitely is what we thought it was then. First try you ever popped in chat, nice. I, it's weird to think of a time that you weren't in my channel, I'm gonna be honest. One reason you stayed around for the first few streams? Very sweet of you. Okay, so they kill that, which is bad for us. Um, but, I guess it's Thunder that, good point. Good point. So I'm supposed to Simulus into Double Orb. Why didn't he put Azar on front? Because uh, he wants to do all of this nonsense, I guess. So I still need to set the orbs up, which kind of sucks for us. Right. But I think it's worth doing. You are no lunar Stack Simulus, I'm going to have to. Now I can... Secret Bintsy? Maybe. I think I'm supposed to Mushy Truffle now, though. Because it puts the orbs in the right spot instantly and plays... Yeah, you know what? I think that's fine. Because now I'm up by a decent chunk. It's good tempo, and I can play the Alza here. I don't think I'm supposed to go away, though. I think I'm supposed to play the Alza here. Because it's ready. Two orbs. I play the Pact as well. And then my short round. Splendid crops this year, and ever Oh, it's awful. Oh, it's so bad. I mean, the Sarah's amazing. The Witcher Mentor is hopelessly terrible. You literally hate to see it. Yeah. If I, the problem is I don't have... Like, if I get Francesca and Gord, it's no good, right? Okay. Sarah is great. Sarah first is better. Uh, but Sarah is still good. So, I now packed the Sarah. Poison an allied unit and boost it by two. Let's go! Failed units! <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I won't have a Nero because I just use second a Nero. Yeah, no salve sucks. Honestly, so Francesca is no good to me because I won't have two specials. Um, at all. Because if I do, I don't get the Gord, right? Yeah, uh, no Pandemist. But uh, it will do if I have orbs in Graveyard ready to pull out. Mm -hmm. Fran is a Veiled Unit. True. We're up by a lot of points here. Oh, Fallen Railer. If I pass here, we still have a shot, right? Because I've got four cards, and the four cards could be this, 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 and this. So I think I take the pass here. We're still up by nearly... They need 30... Yeah, they need 31 points here, which is... Not easy considering, right? They would. I think they have to give all their cards here to get out. I think. Yeah, it's Salamander King of Bay. Yeah, 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 for sure. Fran Gord Salve Muzzle. That would be the perfect hand, yeah. That would be the perfect hand. Even though I don't ever get the salve. Spoon Lady! What? No! How? An unironic spoon lady. You love to see it. Lich, I really do love to see it. Actual spoon lady friend. I'm, I'm surprised. I think this card will end up at five provisions. I've never seen this played, and I think, I think if you made this five provisions, it's still not going to be played. But at least it's more likely. Right? I think we're good! Yeah. 
If you could stop wasting my time. And people tell me Spellateal's bad. I disagree. GG. Now, admittedly, that was the... A slightly less traditional version of Jackpot. It was the Salamandra meme, but yeah, as soon as they lead around one, it is very suspicious that they're not really Jackpot that we're looking for, and they are going to be the Salamandra one. Because if you give them, if you go into a long round against that, if you let them win that round one, they just drive past round two and you go, huh, and then they board wipe you, right? So it's always something to keep your eye on if you're playing against a Jackpot list and it just jams leader really early. Often pairing it with something like um, a Saul as well. Secret Salamander. Hmm. Think you jinxed me, maybe. Death Wish? What's Death Wish these days? Okay. Red coin for the first time. That's nice. Okay. Oh, it's Triple Gurney, isn't it? Oh, it's Triple Gurney, and of course I've missed Heat Wave. This is another one of those lists that just loses to a single card, but you never draw the card. Could be V. I'd be happier if it was V, uh, but I doubt it with Urn of Shadows. This hand's actually terrible. Do I kill the Desert Banshee? Might just be normal Death Wish stuff, it's not. It's not. It's going to be that ridiculous list. It's always that ridiculous list. But apparently Monsters is terrible this season. Oh, it's a Larry. Maybe it is. Quad Maddock's not actually very good, to be fair. So I'm not particularly afraid of Quad Maddock. Uh, I'm going to play this. Draw, 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 mulligan, can't mulligan. So draw, 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 mulligan, mulligan. I never see a Nero. I never see Heatwave. I never see Alza. Okay, no then. Triple Gurney plays Larry. Yep, it does, because it's good thinning. Mm -hmm. It does indeed. Uh, happy Odin's Day. Could we be seeing Death Wish spam? Uh, we're seeing that Triple Gurney list, I think. Or not. Maybe it is just legit Death Wish. The problem is here, right? I don't want to keep playing this round. In case that it is and they're just playing... Because they're, they're just playing bad bronze cards, right? I am at least... Wednesday is Odin's Day. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, well, happy Odin's Day to you, my friend. I'm gonna... Oh. If he's old school Death Wish, I'm here for it. I'm on red coin, which is nice. Right? That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. I genuinely didn't know that. Hmm. Now I could just pass, or I could play the mushy truffle here. I think I want to play the truffle. I'm guessing Thor is Thor's day. Thursday is Thor's day then. I've got a Friday would be... Friday?
Oh, Freya's day. Ah, oh, okay. Frigga or Freya. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Freya's day. I can see it. I think I like that version better. So I'm passing now, right? Saturday is where it gets tricky in Old Norse. Uh oh. We're getting Saturn's day. I see. Now I could drop. It, I mean, at the moment, it's just genuine, it's general death wish, but realistically, they should be running the harpies anyway, because they're just great value. So. And on the seventh day. Who knows? Okay, so there's the Alza there. That's good. Okay, that's better. Uh, aha! Uh -huh. Thanks, Borgia. So I mulligan Gord here, I guess. Okay. Right. Decisions I need to make. I think I'm supposed to Simless double orb here so that they're thinned out of the deck so I have less chance of bricking. Right? Cleaning day, yeah, that is actually painfully accurate. I'm gonna do that. Why should I, an elf, and the reason I'm gonna do that is I can still make a third one in multiple ways here, right? I think it was, I honestly don't know. The entomology of Sunday. You've, uh, as a fate system, a lot of interesting things happened to you on Wednesday with fates, and fair enough, Agalok. Uh, did I look at your deck? Uh, I did look at it actually. I'm interested. The random orcs, but I don't hate the lock. Uh, I think if you're playing ball though, playing only one thirsty dame feels really weird. And I would probably be playing an extra dame, to be honest. But I don't know how you fit it is the only problem for you. Okay, so at the moment I'm never seeing Gord or a Neuromancy. I'm not taking the risk. And Alza just has to be good and survive. Okay, that's a little bit scary. You must banish her. See no other path, sir. Hundred percent win rate with twenty-five plus matches. I mean, that's obviously going to be doing very well. Fair play. I've played against a list like that a lot, but I didn't lose to it. In fact, we just beat that list. But it wasn't running uh, Anna Henrietta, to be fair. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I see more of the Van Morlehems, and the new Van Morlehem servants are pretty great. Uh, as I said, I still think one thirsty dame is a bit sus, I'm going to be honest, but if you're doing that well with it, then keep doing what you're doing, bud. If you're doing that well with it, keep going. Uh, Aesir Belief, part of a Neopagan community. Oh, cool. Splendid crops this year, and ever they shall be. Leave it to me. So my Alza here is a real problem, right? Missing these is terrible, but I have no more mulligans. How are NR Mages? Uh, we didn't play NR Mages, because I hate NR Mages. We played NR Siege, and it was bloody brilliant. Uh, Mr. Orga, thank you for the follow. And Julio Ferreira, thank you for the follow. Mm. Old English word, Mona. Mo Okay, so we get the Anero into... Okay, so they decide to kill that. Uh, Vin, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Great to have you. Hello! Hey, Oxo, how are you doing, bud? Uh, you love playing SD and wonder if this deck is competitive. I personally think so, yes. I need to make some tweaks, and the problem with Precision Strike is its ability to brick is astronomical. Oh. I'm against control, apparently. Um, 
which is getting a little tedious. Um, the earth will flow with the blood of Enshe, the blood of elves. But yeah, honestly, I think this list is good, but I do, I think you end up in some sort of symbiosis list and it ends up being the best thing. The golden dragon. Observe a master in action. Actually, no. I do this first. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we're getting some carryover. They play the horn. Ah, you clever. I have to let the horn survive. I have to let the horn survive. This is awful. Living souls in your wake should ne'er gain forget your sake. Okay. So the horn's gonna live. What's the heat wave for? It's for the horn. But if I use it, my orbs come back out, my Alza is useless. Right, so now it's Alza and I just hope he survives. They've used their lock, they've used their heat wave, they've used their parasite. Like, they shouldn't be able to do anything about this. They shouldn't be able to do anything about this. Let's go! Muzzle, don't speak that into reality, true test. And I just muzzle him back. Um. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Because I am now going to muzzle. Okay. But either I guess I still muzzle this, right? Or do I now heat wave the haunt? Is it's not worth heat waving haunt at this point? It's better to take this while I get max value. a lot of things. Nice. Okay, so they currently have dominance, but I just heat wave the 13 here, right? Or, actually, do I... Hmm, I get nine points on this. At the moment, I get a nine point... Yeet Maruna. You think? If I yeet Maruna... So, Maruna right now is a six... Odds are she's taking, let's say, she's, a, she's only a 12 at best, right? Even if, because they consume her, and she takes a 3 at best. I think I get a better Yeet next turn. I think I get a better Heat Wave, so I just get rid of the Desert Banshee here. And Maruna's got a better chance of being less than that. Yeah, because she's got more chat. So they make that. Were they actually this nonsense the whole time? I, I mean, that's kind of scary. Yeah, I managed to miss Gord and an Eromancy. Okay, pass aside. You were right. I apologize. Um, yeah, you, you were actually correct. My opponent high rolled like a true Chad, yes. Uh, but yeah, it turns out you were actually completely correct. Mm hmm. Yeah. Note to self. But that doesn't matter! Because we win by one! Let's go! Opponent double high rolls, and we still win by one. Yeah, love to see it. Not even close! I'll go and watch it on YouTube because it's good. But, also, mm, not sure what, I mean, Siege feels wholesome just because it's not bloody alumni. But, yeah, it is in the deck list. The only change we've made to the Siege list in the deck list, Adalia goes and um, Ansays goes in. 
It's much better. Got to one today with Assimilate. Still good. Yeah, there's no reason Assimilate would still be good. Is there a potential to do a stockpile swarm Meave deck? A few people have been trying to make that work for a little while, actually. That's a really good hand. I don't want to mulligan anything. Because I'm scared that if I do, I'm in trouble. So, I'm going to leave that whole hand alone. I have zero bricks. I have no bricks and the cards I want in the round I want them. This is what we call miraculous. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that can... It, the only concern I have is I don't know if that works in the meta. I, I don't like this, but can I really a Neuromancy a Thunder here to kill that ship? Can I really a Neuromancy a Thunder to kill the ship? I feel like I have to. Or I full leader first turn. Feels a little bit sus. I could also steal it with Vigo's muzzle, but I think I want to steal the coral that obviously exists, right? Instead... I'm going to a Nero a Thunder to kill this. Based on how... They're going to play another one. I'll full lead to that one. Yep. What? No! How? That feels very fitting. Thanks, uh. my friend. I can't let them have the armor. And I know that looks like a massive amount of... Draw, 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 mulligan, mulligan. Draw, 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 mulligan, mulligan. That is perfect. Let's go. I'm being invited to a raid chat, so bear with me one second. Or not, apparently. Weird. Strange. Okay. Uh, I missed that turn. Uh -oh. I could have double solved. Uh, I had a chance to double solve then. I'm a bit annoyed at myself. That was silly. So this always dies here. And it's fine. They have to leader it, but they waste the leader charge killing it. Did I re play God of War recently? No. Um, I I played God of War when it first came out, and I re-watched God of War when Miss Mika was streaming it. Um, very recently. And I enjoyed it greatly. It's such a good game. Like, the, especially to reboot a franchise like that so successfully. You, oh, sorry. Did you say the story is thin? Wait. It, I, I was about to say it was one of the most emotional and powerful stories I played and how incredible it was to reboot such a weird franchise like that into that. So I'm a little confused because I have never had anyone describe it as anything other than a re really good, intense story. So I'm a little confused with that one, I'm not going to lie. Um, AJ, how you doing, Chief? Uh, yeah, I'm... And again, obviously, you're more than entitled to your opinion. I just... Um, yeah, I disagree. Respectfully. Um, yeah. What's the longest Final Fantasy game to date? Uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, not enough motivation. I see you've, A, spoiled the end of the game. Um, but also, um, on top of that, that's a pretty good motivation for me. And it's about the, the journey of the growing and bonding together and how much that matters and how important that is and look well, you might have missed quite a bit of how much that matters um but yeah welcome to disagree um welcome to disagree but yeah mm -hmm. the last of us yeah i was gonna say if you want to put it like that it, the last of us is just getting a girl to a city <laughs> i suppose that isn't actually a spoiler but yeah yeah yeah, I think you're fundamentally missing the whole point of literally the entire game. Um, can 
Can I play the Alza here? So I have to mulligan the Alza. Okay. So I play the Francesca now because it gives me another orb, right? Uh, but yeah, um, I, I literally couldn't disagree more. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was one of the most powerful game experiences I've played. I yeah, and the, the combat was fantastic. Um, and it's yeah, but it, it, the combat wasn't what made that game special for me. It was the the relationships, the growth, the it was all that that made that game special to me. Otter, Otterzern, my friend, welcome home. Thank you very much, my new favorite Prime Gaming subscriber. That is a lot of things that just happened. Um, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Welcome home. You have one of my favorite names on all of Twitch, Otter Otterson. So welcome back, my friend. Um, yeah, great to have you in. But yeah. Uh, it went full Norse myth. Yes, I love that they did. It would be really cool if we could see different pantheons of gods and continue that trend. Because the original God of Wars were just hack and slash fighty simulators with no discernible story other than me must kill. Which is fine. That's hilarious. They're going to be so pissed. Living souls in your reach. Near game. They're going to be so pissed. Um, but yeah, welcome in, Otter. Good to have you back, my friend. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate you coming back for a second month. Very kind of you. I did not put you off completely. Uh, yeah. Hey, feisty. They wouldn't dare cross me. Yeah, I was going to say, honestly, I was... There was lots of uh, emotion in there for me, for sure. Am I getting that all back out here? I'm a spell away from getting that orb back again. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, I'm not saying the other ones have bad stories by any means. To clarify, um, why? Okay. They have veteran, right? So why would they hit this instead of one of these? Um, just in case. I don't know. I find that really weird. Yeah, my Igni senses are tingling big time. That, like, they have to be devotion. They quite literally have to be devotion. But the heart of an okay, so is this my pass? Is this my pass? Or am I playing um, the muzzle here on a five? Because I'm up by 23 points, right? How... how... I kind of want to get more from them, right? If I play the Vigo's muzzle, it plays for 10... Plus, I get the orb back out again. So it's effectively 14 points, right? It, it, they're a worse muzzle. I think I'm supposed to take Morkvar because this isn't an engine. Um, just in case they want to Fakusha that instead in the next round, right? So I take that instead and... This list is really good. I'm not gonna lie. It has the same problems that every precision strike list has. Talent required in the draws, or you have to be very conservative with your mulligans, or super brave with your mulligans, depending on which way you go, right? Uh, deck is popping off, mate. Excellent, that's what we like to see. Oh god, blue coin against this matchup again. That's smart. Uh, but yeah. It's, um... So in this instance... I have three mulligans. Brick, 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 brick. Okay, it's fine. It's still winnable, ladies and gentlemen. Still winnable. I'm going to call it now. Because while I then do have a bricked leader in theory... I don't have a bricked Simless. I could make a house out of those, yeah. 
Did I just get every single brick? Yes, including having Gord and Alza in hand when I don't want them. So of the six potential bricks in my round one hand, on blue coin, when I could take three mulligans, I had, and I'm just going to do the maths here, all of them. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Good. Excuse me. Immediately take yourself to the nearest bin. No. I thought this was siege. And what do I see? What do I see? Alumni. Take thyself to the nearest trash receptacle and deposit thyself there from now until the end of time. Thank you very much. No way I don't lose uneven. I excuse. I think you'll find, good sir. My talent will not allow such a thing. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna do that for now. Siege mages, okay. Are we scared of siege mages? Yes, because we need to win round one at all costs and this hand doesn't do that. So we are a little scared of siege mages. Yeah. There is a way around this, but it's really committal. And it puts me in a position where I don't really think I can... Pass and take the long round. I lose the long round. Because they go for a 2-0, right? I want to make them kill this. I would rather pass losing on even knowing I'm going into triple Alza. Like, you know, Alza and Orbs, you know what I mean? I think they should change Mulligan so that if you... Uh, <laughs> uh, it doesn't copy... So, Pandemus, you... <laughs> have just struck on what we used to call blacklisting, because that was in Gwent in beta. If you say that to an old Gwent player, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt it. Like, we remember. We remember that. Uh, yeah, why is it, uh, why did it go? It went because it used to break the game. Gwent spaghetti code kind of didn't like it back then. Um, and so basically, yeah, what you just said, yeah. I'm now not fighting for this round and I'm accepting that I lose on even, true? Am I now just accepting that I lose on even and being a talented lad, finding my heat wave and not caring? If I find my heat wave, we have a chance. If I don't find my heat wave, we're dead in the water. I can play one more card. I could play the mushy truffle, right? The mushy truffle's gonna play for seven or eight, 14 or 15. Mm. I actually don't hate that. I actually don't hate playing the truffle here. I play them on separate rows because obviously I don't want to give them value on the fault test's pride here. And if they choose to pass, I actually can get out. So they're never gonna pass. In a boiling oil, okay. So now we're going, right? The fact that I can't full leader here is... Okay, so we lose on even. As I've said quite a lot of times, the player on blue coin in this matchup suffers a lot because it really is must win round one. And the red coin player can go super hard, quite offensive, and do exactly what my opponent just did very effectively there and take control. However, oh good, more bricks. Um... But being the talented gentleman that I am, we passed when we are still above seven cards, and I just drew everything. Oh, turn one siege. Oh, chief. Oh, chief. ST is so weak nowadays, I couldn't disagree less. Couldn't disagree less. Skoya was only marginally behind the other factions last season, and still pretty good in my opinion, and it is definitely decent now. Am I leadering now? Am I leadering right now? Do we believe they still play here? Is the question. Because if I believe they're going to play, 
my leader, right? Wait for one more turn? I can't wait for one more turn. Because then they pass. I don't think they want to pass, but I think I want them to either... If they take a long round, I don't want to be a card down into it. I don't want to give them double lasse, which I would have done there. Against, with like, Gord and stuff? Okay, so they keep playing. Sweet! Ah ha! Okay, so I'm having to... I, I think I'm supposed to a Nero Francesca. Right? I think I'm supposed to a Nero Francesca. Instead of a Neroing an Elven Seer, because they really can't kill her to get me the extra orb. In one piece, fight, fight for it. Well, he's got to die. No. Okay, that on this row is really annoying. Welcome back, Skell. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Okay, Natalis is back for the Amphibious Assault. No? Okay. The Blacklist and Gwent not just mean some games always come down to good hands. I mean, they do already, if we're being honest, but it would, it would be a factor, yeah. So, okay. I'm going to play Francesca here. Spessy play Mill again, for God's sake. Spessy, stop. This, you're bleeding this is weird. Just to attack. That pass is strange. Okay, so now the problem I've got is bricks, right? Because uh, if they don't, drawing siege is the big problem, and siege thins really well now, so you could mill it really effectively. Uh, I don't take a single mulligan here. Okay, good. It's this followed by this. Yeah, I play this first. I play this second, right? If they kill the Elven Seer, they kill the Elven Seer. But they've used a boiling oil already. Um, Shani? I don't love that. Um, I'm going to Anero and muzzle that. Fact. Anero muzzle. Shani's got no other target. Why didn't I mulligan Alza? Because uh, I couldn't afford to take a mulligan, unfortunately. I think Salve is eight for seven. Only if like, it comes out in more than one round, bud. So I think it's really good. Needs two counters. It plays for five initially, plus any spell value. Comes back out for six, seven, eight. But this is the third time I've seen it. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 for seven so far, which I'm kind of happy with. Oh, actually, I'm in a terrible spot here. The elders must put a stop to this rebellion, else they will face devastation. Truffle being gone puts me in an awful spot. Mm. Boiling oil purify. True, that would have been really smart. I should have played it next to that for the. Bo I think I don't think they run two oils though. I don't think they run two oils. I think they're going to ping this and they're going to try and play a bombardment to snipe. I don't think they've got it. Or not. It's Revenants? Okay, I just need Alza to stick. Ah! Okay. I mean, that's kind of fine, right? 
And my orbs are now at three, two, one, which means I get them all again. The deer will keep coming back. So that deer has now played for 17 for seven, in fact. Pretty good. And when I, yeah, okay. This is a very weird list my opponent is playing, but hey ho. Okay. So I spores this. And I get my orbs back again. Okay. I mean, we're probably losing here, right? Because I'm... Probably losing here. I'm denying the value on the Kedwani Revenant, but I'm only up by nine, ten points. And they're gonna. Okay, that's not bad though, because that traded for one point effectively. So that whole turn was a single point. Oh, we might be okay here. Okay, so they need they need a decent card here to win this. That is not a card. That was a very weird list. Um, I'm not gonna lie. And that takes me to rank one. So rank three to two. We climbed with the NR siege list. We added in the Anses, and it made a massive difference over Adalia. Rank two to one. Flawless. Perfect spell -a -teal. Loving every second of it. Oh, what did I say? Even with some slightly awkward hands, which can be an inevitability in Precision Strike sometimes, the sheer power output that this list produces... <laughs> I mean, well, you can see. It's plain to see. I really enjoyed this list. I hope you give it a try. If you've got any suggestions, please do let me know. I'd be very interested to see what you're running. Is Precision Strike the way? I'm curious. Maybe I try... Uh, instead of going down like a symbiosis route for Spellateal, because I would definitely still be including Francesca, albeit Salve in symbiosis is always a bit of a shame because it's a spell and not a nature card, but either way. I hope you like the video. I'm looking forward to releasing the next one. If you haven't already, again, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Hope to see you soon in my comment section or on my Twitch channel. Love you guys. See you next time.